Ciao everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Maria and we are still talking about lichen sclerosis. I just want to take a moment and thank you all for your continuous support, attention and your stories. Thank you for your trust and I hope to see you on this channel again and again. The next series of short videos will be a little bit different from what I did before. These videos will be about our immune system. These videos will be based exclusively on some scientific articles. So it's not about my experience or experiences of somebody else, except for the video where I will tell you about how to help your immune system to cope. So in this video let's talk about what is an overactive immune system, how does it work. As you all know, your immune system is a defender of your body. Without your immune system you will be constantly ill with viruses, bacteria, foreign bodies in your organism. When your immune system stops working the way it should be, it calls immune system disorder. So what can go wrong with your immune system? What types of immune disorders there are? For example, you can be born with a weak immune system. This will call primary immune deficiency. You can acquire immune deficiency when some disease weakens your immune system and of course it will call acquired immune disorder. You can have an immune system which is overly active, which happens when you have allergic reaction, and you can have immune system that turns against you, which is our case dearest, and this is called autoimmune disorder. A quick word on overactive immune system. You should be born with certain type of genes that will bring you an overactive immune system. The substances, usually harmless substances, that go into your body through your nose or through your mouth, allergens cause an overly protective reaction of your organism. That's how allergic reaction happens. Also, atopic dermatitis is the type of allergic reaction which is called not by autoimmune disease but by overly active immune system so that you know the difference. So in case of autoimmune diseases your body starts to attack itself. The cause is still unknown but the scientists think that it's something between genes we have and something in our environment that causes this reaction. So lichen sclerosis is a localized lymphocyte mediated inflammatory disease which is proven to be autoimmune disease. It is triggered by T cells or T lymphocytes. T cells are the types of white blood cells which attack viruses. There are two types of T cells in our body, killer T cells and helper T cells. Killer T cells are working hard to destroy the intruder and helper T cells arrange this attack. Any cell, whether it's virus or your own cell, has antigens. Antigens work like a tag for your immune system. You see the tag intruder or you see the tag it's our own cell, we don't attack it. And this is how antigens work. If a cell in your organism is affected by a virus, antigens will immediately let the T cells know about it. Antigens are actually on the surface of the cell. Antigens that normal cells in your body have call self antigens. And of course killer T cells shouldn't react to them. But in case of autoimmune diseases, T cells actually react to self antigens which leads to destruction of the cell and then destruction of the tissue. There are cells that are called Langehan cells. They are originated from bone marrow and then they travel throughout your body. These cells perform as antigen recognition. So that was the research and I put the link to it down below this video that will show you how lichen sclerosis affects the quantity of Lagihan cells and certain types of T cells. In short, there was a group of 15 healthy people, 7 early stage lichen sclerosis bearers and eight late-stage lichen sclerosis bearers. The results of the biopsies of completely healthy people and people with lichen sclerosis showed that on early stage of lichen sclerosis the quantity of the research cells is practically the same, but on the late stage the Lagenhan cells were significantly higher than in healthy people. What is interesting in this research is that 
certain types of T lymphocytes, which cause CD3+, CD4+, and CD8+, were significantly higher in every case of lichen sclerosis. Which brings us to believe that lichen sclerosis is indeed an autoimmune disease. What is really happening? The scientists still don't know the answer, but there is one theory. Hypothetically, antigen specificity of T cells recognition is controlled by molecules that cause MHC. MHC genotype somehow controls the ability of the organism to recognize antigens. And when MHC genotype fails, this happens. So how does the tissue damage come? As I told you before in this video, the self antigens as any antigen is on the surface of the cell. So when the T cells are directed against this antigen, they try to destroy it, destroy it with the cell. Adaptive immune system is incapable to remove this antigen because it's a self antigen. So what happens? The immune response, the immune response persists. There is a constant supply of outer antigen. It amplifies the response and you body is fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting against your own cells over and over and over. Over the time some cells die, they are not reproducing themselves. That's how the tissue damage happens. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you get some new information for yourself. Please subscribe and hit the bell button to know more about lichen sclerosis. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye!